because it says condemn uh, ungodly men, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. Uh, See? Yeah. Careful about that. In other words, the grace that they preach is what we call a cheap grace. Yeah. It don't require you to live or walk or talk any different. You can go ahead and just get your studs and tattoos and cuss and drink and liquor and do dope. Right. Wait a minute. You must be a Calvinist. <laughs> you must read with Bob Doofus over there on the MUZ Christian radio station or something. I think you can go ahead and drink liquor, do anything you want. Because, well, I'm just saying, God's grace, I'm saying. Wicked. See? Right. Not only are they ungodly, but they're immoral. Right. Yeah, that's it. Right away, you can tell that, wait a minute now. He's not go he's not got a clear sense of right and wrong. Right. No wonder he can't even, he ain't even got a right Bible. <laughs> right. Of course. See, God's secret is with the righteous, but it's not with the ungodly and the unrighteous. Amen, amen. Amen. And so watch out now. Watch out now. They're immoral people. And you start running their name on the internet, sure enough you find out, yeah, look here. <laughs> All kinds of moral, immoral charges have been placed against them. Yep. But they preach the grace of God and turn it into lasciviousness. Like it's a, a, a go ahead, you can live in, in, in this filthy of fleshy desires as you want. Now, I used to always know that was the Bible definition of lasciviousness. But yet, uh, let's look at a few verses just so you get the sense of it out of your own Bible here. Amen. 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 Let's just go ahead and look at it. Let's go to Mark 7, 21, where Amen. Jesus talks about what is in man's heart anyhow. A bunch of crap. Exactly. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, yes. adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, then look, look, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Amen. Come out. Yes, they do. I don't do. Amen. Look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Here the Apostle Paul helps us get a handle on these things. And he says in Ephesians 4, yeah, you can spot this stuff. Verse 17. This I say, therefore, testify the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. It's all about them, see. Right. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God. In other words, you get to know them, then you say, See, they won't read the Bible. <laughs> you ask them a question about God, they don't know no answers. Right. Alienated from the life of God. They're like an alien compared to God. Yes. Uh huh. Now, watch this one. Through the ignorance that's in them. Yeah, that's it. Because of the blindness of their hearts. <laughs> Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto, now notice the King James Dictionary is working here now. Yes, sir. Unto lasciviousness, comma, to work all uncleanness with greediness. There's the, de there's the King James definition. What is lasciviousness? It is the work of all uncleanness with greediness. Amen. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? If I get out of it, right. if I can show you as long as I'm benefited, right. my family's benefited. The end justifies the See, yeah. it makes it okay. The end justifies the means. You know what it does? Amen. Watch out. That's lascivious thinking. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You're headed for trouble, big boy. You're right in there with the devil. Yeah. All in the name of building a church, doing God's work. Then remember Peter said something about this over there in 1 Peter. 1 Peter 4, verse 1. Remember what Pete said? For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, to the will of God. Is that why you live? For the time past of our life may suffice us 
to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. See, when you're saved, there's supposed to be something in your life that you say, well, I used to do that. That's right. 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 Yep. Don't do that no more. Amen. When we walked in lasciviousness, yeah. Yeah, it used to be all about us all the time. Right, right. And it didn't matter how filthy we got. In fact, the more filthy was, the more we enjoyed it. Yeah. We walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, Christmas yeah. banquetings, yeah. and abominable idolatries. Amen. Four, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot. I mean, when you honestly became a Christian, did they ever think of something different about you? How yeah. come you don't right. come to these things with us no more? Right. Right. Have they ever accused you of having quit them? Right. Hey, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. There right you there. go. Yeah. Peter says that's how it's supposed to be. If you're anything yeah. near, right. 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 normal follower of Jesus. Right. 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 Anybody think you're strange? Uh -huh. You don't run with them no more and go to their banquets. Commit their idolatries. And here's the key. That ain't enough. Do they speak bad about you? Yeah. Amen. Speaking, Amen. Amen. speaking evil of you. Uh -huh. Or do they think, oh no, she's just great. Man, I, she's been my pal since high school. We've been pals since we were neighbors as a little kid. I, I, I've told you my own testimony. I've been saved, man, since I was nine years old. But even my buddies in high school as a teenager didn't clearly get it. Until one day, thank God, <laughs> definitely my senior year of high school, I even told my buddies, I said, well, fellas, you know, I've been sitting with you at this lunch table long enough. There's a lot of boys and girls out here that I don't know, and i got to take Jesus' gospel to them, so I ain't even wasting my time sitting with you. Hey. One of them, one of my buddies that I went to church with, and he could keep sitting there with my other pals all he wanted to. I wasn't going to do it. I had somebody to minister to, then I found out through the grapevine later, my buddies were all talking about me, and they said, man, he must have really got religion. Oh, I didn't have it before. <laughs> but they didn't see it in me until they saw the difference. Right. 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 Thank God I'm so glad I got to be a witness because one of them ended up committing suicide. A few years later, he ended up committing suicide, man. After we done graduated, it was such a, it's a, it was so sad. It broke my heart to think that uh, Steve had committed suicide. He went to... Eastern Michigan University went there a year or two and then he committed suicide. Because I said, well, praise the Lord, at least I got to be a witness to him. We've been pals since junior high school. I witnessed, witnessed, and finally there was a time I quit witnessing to him and I wanted to go witness to somebody else. Right. That's right, brother. Move on. Man, I hate to hear that. I wish he would have trusted Jesus. But I know one thing. God sure used me to be a testimony to him. And so you got to reach that point. Right. The people who are going to talk about you, talk bad about you, because you've made a real clear distinction that you're going with God and His truth. Not cheap grace. Right. They preach that the grace of God, they turn it into lasciviousness. Yeah. And deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. That's Judas Iscariot. Mm. Right. Judas Iscariot was in church every Sunday with Jesus. Right. Judas Iscariot was a preacher. Judas, Judas Iscariot went out with Jesus knocking on doors. Uh -huh. right. Judas Iscariot went out street preaching. Right. He was right there all along. Right. But buddy, when you got when you got private with that bird, there had to be a reason why Thomas had his doubts. <laughs> I believe that when they got two by two, they had to go out and knock on the door. Yeah, Thomas, <laughs> <went to him. laughs> Probably. Yeah. Thomas ended up with old Judas. And there's a reason Amen. why, after Jesus' resurrection, yeah, Thomas said, Well, I ain't even going to believe it unless I see the nail holes in his hand. What's wrong with you, Thomas? Who hath bewitched you? Yeah, right there. Right there. It's not a what. It's not that there's some doctrine difficult yeah, to believe. Yeah, yeah. It's who. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 No. Who has bewitched you? And so we can't be surprised that these kind of people can't slip into church. You be careful now. We try to warn you about it. Verse 5, for I will therefore put you in remembrance. I remember when Peter said that word. He said, I want to put you in remembrance how that you were once washed. It's awful, but you can be a saved person 
when he gets so backslid on God that you forget that you've been washed and saved by the blood of Jesus. It's possible. At least Peter said so. And of course, he'd be the apostle of Christ. I, I try to stick with it. Yeah. Yeah. 